Hello, people of the internet, my name is Johnny, welcome back to yet another FNAF news video. This time, once again, we're solely focusing on news regarding the upcoming FNAF movie. If you saw yesterday's FNAF news video, which, number one, if you're in the mood for more FNAF news, that video's got you covered, and number two, you may have noticed at the end of the video, I originally wanted to talk about a butt-ton of movie news, but frankly, there was just so much, there was no way I was gonna fit all of it into an already stacked FNAF news video, so here we are today. And we got a whole bunch of stuff to talk about today, some very surprising plot details, some very interesting new merchandise the crew got, an actual look at the crew on the set of the pizzeria, some brand new characters that are being added to the film that I don't think anyone was expecting that, and a whole bunch more. So without further ado, let's not waste any more time. If you're brand new, consider scrolling down, tickling that subscribe button. And as just a brief recap, this is the official teaser, our first look at the FNAF movie we got not too long ago, earlier this month from Blumhouse. And as you can see, the image depicts Freddy Fazbear, and Piper Rubio's character of Abby, Mike's younger sister, standing outside of the abandoned Freddy Fazbear's pizza place. Now, there's been a lot of discussion on whether or not this Freddy Fazbear is actually Freddy Fazbear or actually Golden Freddy. There are going to be some details later on in this video, which further supports it being Freddy Fazbear himself. But all in all, I do think it is Freddy Fazbear. It would make sense if Freddy was the first character they'd officially show off in a teaser. There are a lot of yellow lights in the teaser, which could give the illusion of him looking a bit more shiny and yellowy closer to Golden Freddy, but I do think it is just Freddy. But along with this teaser, we also got the official release date, which is October 27th, and also the interesting news that it's actually going to be going to Peacock, the streaming service, the same day it releases in theaters, and that got people a bit worried, but Blumhouse did end up releasing a statement saying, like our Halloween films, the FNAF movie will premiere in theaters and on the Universal Comcast streaming platform Peacock at the same time. Universal and Comcast believe that, because of the fan Scott has built over the last decade is so varied and intense, a simultaneous release is the best way to turn the FNAF movie into a huge cultural event. Anyone looking for that communal experience can see the film in theaters. Superfans can re-watch it on Peacock and catch all the Easter eggs. The way the consumers will experience the marketing campaign is that they'll be directed to theaters first and only later to Peacock, meaning it seems like they're going to advertise FNAF as go see it in theaters, you know, now in theaters, and then after it's been in theaters for a little bit, then they're going to start pushing, oh, you can also watch it on Peacock. It is very rare to have an opportunity with a big corporate entity like Comcast, where they have a huge vested interest in making as many people aware of the movie as possible. This bodes well for not just this film, but also any other potential subsequent Five Nights films. So hopefully if you're one of those people that were like, I don't know, it makes it seem like Blumhouse doesn't have that much faith in the film at the box office, once again, hopefully this statement kind of eases those worries. Moving on now to some character announcements. You may remember in previous FNAF movie news videos, we took a look at the voice actors and motion captures for characters such as Freddy, Chica, Bonnie, as well as characters that not many people were expecting, like Golden Freddy and especially the puppet. Well, earlier this month, we also got the official voice actor and motion capture for Foxy the Pirate, that actor being Roger Joseph Manning Jr., who actually is also pretty heavily involved with the music department. And then we also got another weird character that I don't think anyone was expecting, because Dylan Horner was announced as the voice provider and motion capture for Balloon Boy. Yet another FNAF 2 character, very interesting. I don't think he's gonna have a super big role in the film, at least if it's Balloon Boy, I hope not. If anything, I'm sure he's just gonna be a quick gag character that has a few scenes, maybe at like the prize corner or something. But yeah, I'd love to know what are your thoughts on Balloon Boy being in the FNAF movie? What the heck? Moving on now to some brand new set photos. We have the director and writer Emma Tammy alongside Christopher Warner, who is the executive producer. On the set, this is a brand new behind the scenes photo. Nothing too major to talk about, but I thought I'd show it off anyways. Moving on now to something else that's very exciting. We got our first official look at the interior of the pizzeria for the film and this is what it looks like obviously the big blobs of blank color or people who have had to been blurred out uh, but everything else is an official look at the pizzeria set and oh my gosh does it look interesting now that might have sounded like I meant that in a bad way it's just certainly not what I was expecting we can see a doorway that looks very similar to the doorway we can spot out in the official Blumhouse teaser so very likely that is around the entrance of the pizzeria we can also see a whole bunch of drawings on the walls some posters of course the checkered board pattern goes around the floor some bit of the walls as well though it does look like 
like the floor gets changed out for that stereotypical, you know, like confetti string like arcade room flooring. Around the middle of the room and also off to the left, you can see what appears to be a hallway, a little staircase that goes up to a few more arcade machines. The coloring is certainly very interesting, not typically the color we usually see in these FNAF establishments, a lot of bright purples. But honestly, it's kind of grown on me the longer we've had this set photo released. But I'd love to know what are your thoughts on this brand new set photo? Are you a fan of the look? Are you wishing they went with something a bit more similar to what it looks like in the game? What's strange about this set photo is that, if I'm remembering correctly, Daco and the boys who went out to see the set said it looked pretty identical to what it looks like in the first game, so maybe this is a different location? I'm not entirely sure. Taking a bit of a breather for a moment for big reveals, I thought I'd show off something pretty interesting, but once again, nothing too major. Someone who worked on the FNAF movie showed off some merch products they got for working on the film, and in the photo you can see they got some glasses featuring the cupcake, Bonnie, Freddy, Foxy, Chica, whose bib actually says let's drink, which is such a nice little detail to change up for having it on a glass. And finally, you can see a group photo of all the characters together. Something else they showed off was this insane foxy drawing made out of glass. I'm blanking on what the official term is, but hopefully you know what I mean. I am hopeful that we see this in the film somewhere. I, I don't, it feels like it'd be out of place for a pizzeria, but I don't see why they would make something so crazy and as detailed as this and not have it featured in the movie. And lastly, they showed off some crew shirts they got for, of course, working on the film. The first one you can see, again, features the characters grouped up with the Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Play sign. In the middle, you've got Bonnie with the text, it shreds rocking out on his guitar and lastly you've got a plain gray t-shirt with the freddy fazbear's pizza play sign 2023 art department set decorations props stuff like that part of me wishes they released these as official merchandise because i would love to pick up some of these products but i'd assume they're just gonna stick to cast and crew for now and actually speaking of cast members we got a brand new extra cast in the film because artist and youtuber dolly dachshund apologies if i'm pronouncing that last name incorrectly made a video announcing they are in the fnaf movie even showing showing off their costume they're going to be wearing in the film. Now, they did give some other details in their video, like giving some hints about where to look if you want to spot them in the movie, talking about how the sets are all built inside this abandoned Lowe's, which I don't know why I'm bringing that up. I just thought it, it was a funny detail. But the main topic everyone's talking about with Dolly's announcement is a reply they left to a comment asking about the age rating for the film, to which Dolly replied, it was said on set it would be PG-13. Now, what's even more interesting about this discussion is that Christian Stokes, who's been cast as Hank in the film, actually took to Twitter to give his stance on the topic. I've been getting the question about the rating a lot lately. Truth is, nothing official has been announced. Also, a lot of things are said on the set people discussing the subject just like we do here. It's not official, whether it's R or PG-13, it will be great. Also going on to say in the replies, they haven't decided. They are still in editing and won't know until they get the movie together. It may not even get a rating until right before it comes out, which is the case with some films. Personally, I do think the movie is going to be PG-13, but I also think we should wait until official confirmation comes out from Scott or from Jason Blum or Blumhouse or Universal or anyone official working on the film itself before we jump to conclusions like, oh, because it's PG-13, it's going to be crap, you know? There's plenty of damn good PG-13 horror films. But anyways, let's move on to our final news topic for today, some more leaks. Because Twitter user Cult of the Ember, who is a leaker in the movie scene, they accurately leaked a whole bunch of stuff regarding Spider-Man No Way Home. But just in case, if you want to take this info with a grain of salt, by all means, go ahead. But recently, they've been leaking a whole bunch of info regarding the FNAF movie, so let's take a look through it. First up, they showed a deflated balloon with the Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Place logo, as well as a piece of fabric from the animatronics. They go on to say the FNAF movie doesn't take place in the 80s, only flashbacks. Most of the film will take place after the restaurant is already run down, which honestly does line up with a few set photos we got of that facade of the Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Place with all the vines and the closed gate, as well as the sign that gets all worn down in the teaser photo and also in that set photo we saw with Ape It Ryan. They go on to say Raphael Luce, who plays young Vecna in frickin' Stranger Things, which is crazy, will appear in the film, likely in a commercial. Later clarifying, Raphael will appear in a training video for the restaurant that is shown during a flashback. It features a woman talking about how to operate the suits. For most of the film, the animatronics are worn down and scary looking. We only see them in good condition during flashbacks. Which does kind of line up with that teaser we saw Freddy Fazbear with the missing ear. You can also see part of his arm is falling off in that teaser. Could this be part of the worn down Freddy Fazbear we get a look at for the majority of the film according to this leak? 
who knows? Some tinier notes, they say the animatronics are one-to-one -one recreations, which we kind of already knew about from Darko and all the boys. Also saying there are shots in the movie that recreate shots from the game, specifically the shots we see in the cameras. But that was all the stuff Ember talked about. Once again, if you want to take it with a grain of salt, by all means, go ahead. But that is going to do it for our FNAF movie news video. Hopefully you all enjoyed a lot of stuff to talk about. I'd love to know your thoughts on all of it in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.